G'day folks, the current time is 5.21am For those that don't know what AM means, it means absolute madness Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing But folks, this is absolute madness, 20 past 5 in the morning Today I'm fishing right in the heart of Wangaratta You can probably see the main road coming into town over my shoulder Wangaratta is heading for a top of 37 degrees today, so I've come out nice and early to drown some bait right in the heart of town to see if I can pick up a Murray Cod before it gets too hot. Right now, here's my first rod going in. I've got the uh, Robbie Alexander Signature Series bait weights and the size 3, a bit of a heavy one this time. I've got a uh, reasonable size hook with a bit of cheese. I'll cast that straight over there. You may remember this spot, I sanded this out with my deeper fish finder about a week before cod season open and there's a deep channel along that edge, over there looks good for cod out here is open and shallow and it looks good for carp so I'm going to put the cheese rod over there in that deep, in that deep channel right now rod number two, Pat Nosterig, bunch of worms I'll go a little bit more over, let's go further than that I'll go a little bit more over to the left with this one it's out in uh, a bit shallower water there, over that bit of a mud flat. So it might catch a carp. Now, it certainly still can catch a cod over the shallow rear mud flat sort of water. There's a couple of logs just in front of the uh, the bank here. If there's, if there's really small logs like that out there, if they're mud flats, cod will definitely still sit under them. I think I've got more chance of catching a carp over those shallow flats, but I won't be surprised if I catch a cod. Check this out, Merry Christmas to Me by Jan Juck Fishing Worms Jan Juck Fishing Worms, they sent me a, a stubby holder Thanks Jan Juck Fishing Worms <laughs> Look at that, it's 5.45am uh, and I'm about to crack open a Pepsi Max You know why? Because I haven't had much sleep and it's full of caffeine I don't drink coffee So many people love coffee and they rave about coffee and they say things like I can't start my day without a coffee But I crave the caffeine, especially when I have an early morning like this but I hate coffee. I'm probably lucky to drink four or five cups of coffee a, a year, and that's usually in the colder months. I think probably, I can't remember the last coffee I had. It would have been months ago. So I have the uh, Pepsi Max or Diet Coke or something with a bit of caffeine in it. I found when I was a shift worker years ago, working active night shift, that Diet Coke and Pepsi Max kept me awake better than coffee did anyway. <laughs> Current time, 5.59 a.m. We can just see the first rays of sunshine hitting the tops of the tallest trees. That's a fish bite. Got him. Folks, I've got something. It's a long way out, but I've got something. I'd say it might be a carp because it's gone from. Oh, hard to say what it is actually. It's quite a bit of weight in this fish, but it's not fighting like a carp. It started swimming to the left, but then oh, it's moving around a bit now. This could be a cod. Didn't bite like a cod though. Very much a little carp nibble. Trying to keep it away from this other line. It's got other ideas. I think it's a carp, just by the way. It's, I don't know. It's, this is interesting, this one. This is a hard one to call. It's not showing neither carp or cod sort of characteristics. <laughs> it's certainly not fighting like a carp. A bit like a carp, I think it's a big carp, I just got a, a glimpse of him, there it is, big old mud marlin. Now it's showing carp characteristics, now it's showing carp characteristics. That there was an interesting fight, it didn't sort of fight like a carp normally would. Just constantly keeping my eye on my other rod here while I'm doing this. A monster carp. Look, I've caught way bigger. I'm putting this one maybe 50, 55 centimeters. Come on, buddy. Get away from that snag. I'd like to have a fish this big on this other rod here. because that's got cheese for bait and that would mean it's probably a Murray Cod Just 
I gotta land him here, I reckon. The old Jan Juck worms have struck. They never fail these worms. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I went fishing out to my favourite little creek a few days ago that I catch bits of everything in, and I caught nothing in it. <laughs> and I was using Jan Juck worms. It was it possibly even the first time I've been fishing with Jan Juck worms and not caught any fish. I sat there for three hours, I thought. I filmed a funny intro. I said, cod season's here, and I'm going carp fishing. But I caught nothing. Here we go, into the net, into the super net. No. Here we go, here we go. Got him! Oh, dear. He's much bigger than I first thought, actually. I'm not going to quick pick. He's a bit bigger than I first thought he was. He'd be, he'd be over 60. Got to get a tape measure and remember to bring it with me, but I reckon he's probably low 60s. Alrighty, yeah, with that carp here mainly dispatched, it's time to chuck in a couple more Jan Juckies. I reckon I could make a poem about Jan Juck worms. It's got to be something that rhymes with Juck that I could throw in there. So you want to try fishing. You want to try your luck. You've got to get some worms and they've got to be the Jan Juck. I knew there'd be a poem. Ironic that I'm casting my cheese line out while I say that poem. Just as I was dispatching the carp, I had a little bit of a nibble on the cheese. Okay folks, it's story time. About three or four days into the new season, I thought I might try something. I'll come down here late at night in full dark and I'll just cast a surface lure around this area because as many of you may have seen, I sounded out that area over there with my deeper Chirp Plus fish finder just before the season opened. I know there's a deep channel along that bank and I thought I'll come down here and I'll just cast a surface lure in the middle of the night and see how I go. We put on a black chase bait smuggler, the budgie smuggler lure. And I, uh, I walked down here in full darkness. I stood on the edge. I heaved it over there into the dark. I couldn't see where it was going. It never even made a splash. So obviously it's landed in one of the trees over here. And then I snapped the line on the very first cast. 50 pound braid. So for anybody kayaking or whatever around that bank over there, if you look really, really closely, you might just find yourself a black chase bait smuggler lure. Only mate, there's a carp jumping over there. I only made the one cast. It's never even been wet. It's brand new because it never landed on the water. <laughs> it came in my tackle club box last month. <laughs> Something's biting on my cheese here. Take it. Give it a good hard tug. Got him. I had to set the hook really hard, but I got him. I've had a few nice bites on this cheese and I've missed every hook up. And I think it's because I uh, have got so much line out that I'm not striking. It looks like I'm striking hard, but I think maybe I'm not striking hard enough. I don't know what this is. There's a weight there, but it's certainly, I hope it's not a turtle, is it? <laughs> Here we go, what have we got? It is a bloody turtle. It's gotta be joking. Oh. It's the first one I've caught. Loretta only asked me yesterday, we went for a drive down the Lower Ovens River and we saw that there's a lot of, uh, we saw that there's a lot of water in the lagoons and Loretta said, have you been catching any turtles? And I said, no, and she said, maybe they've made their way back into the lagoons. And I said, I hope so. I think she jinxed me. Come on, mate, settle down. I'll, I'll get the hook out. Don't bite me finger. I don't know whether these things bite, but I reckon if you weren't careful, you, they could. Right, there you go, mate. Look at that. I only said to Loretta last night, being that it's only quarter past six in the morning, it wouldn't have even been 12 hours ago. I said, I haven't caught a turtle yet this cod season. Hopefully they're all back in the lagoons. Uh, no. There's still some in the river. Shit, that's a big bite on the worms. Got him. That was a nice bite on the worms. That was a bit more of a coddy bite. If it's a cod, it's a nice one. I'm guessing it's a carp though. Alright, hooked up. This could be a cod, you know. If this is a cod, it's a good cod for a worm fish. I 
That's not darting and dashing all over the place like carp do. Then again, the last fish I caught on this rod before I said that didn't feel like a carp either. And then when I got it closer, it uh, took off like a carp. And up near the surface now. A bit more like a cod this one though. Just a solid yank straight in. There's me landing in that Avery. Yeah, it's starting to swim around a bit. I'm starting to feel carpy. Must be just because I'm fishing with so much line out. Is it a carp or is it a really nice cod? It's a cod. And it's a real nice one. I might try and... Uh, this is a big risk, but anyway, hopefully he doesn't get off. Did he get off? No. Good. That's a really nice... Look at that. What an absolute ripper. He is a lovely Murray cod. Gee whiz, he's a really nice fish. There you go, mate. Oh, look at that. He is a lovely Murray cod. Now I'm putting him at around about 57, 58 centimeters, but guess what? I just found a tape measure. I did have one in there. Look at that, he's over 60. He is, if I straighten his tail out, 60, 61 centimetres. I'll put him at 58. The eyeometer was close. I'll unhook him, get him straight back. There you go, folks. 61 centimetre Murray cod. Caught on the Jan Juck worms. See ya, mate. Off he goes, you little ripper! Ha. Now, in my kayak video the other day, I caught a cod for being around about 60 centimetres, and I reckon it was a very similar size to that, so I think my eyeometer, despite not measuring a fish for a while, I think my eyeometer's in pretty good shape. Well, how good was that, eh? I'll go... I've got the cod rod with the cod bait in the deep cod end of the hole. I've got the carp rod with the carp bait over the shallow mud flats. And guess which one I caught that lovely 61 centimetre Murray cod on? The carp rod over the mud flats with the carp bait. Jan Juck worms have struck again. Well, that's a nice bite in the cheese. Got him. Missed him. Bugger. That was a good bite, that one. That was the best cheese bite that I've had all morning. They are Pacific black ducks, little baby Pacific black ducks, a whole that's uh, Mrs. Farkin and her, and her kids. Old mate down here on that sandbar has been sitting there for about an hour doing the same thing I'm doing. Very popular form of fishing here in Wangaratta and probably most of regional Victoria. Just to sneak down the river of a morning for a couple of hours or an evening and wet a line and do a bit of fishing. I feel for you people living in Melbourne that have got to make a full day of it to come and do something like this. Get up really early, then go home really late. I'm so lucky to live where I do. I'll be home in time to cook breakfast. <laughs> I've got one. It's not a very big fish. I reckon this is going to be a little cod. I missed the hookup because it uh, almost pulled the rod in the water. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's just skating across the surface here. It's a tiny weeny little Murray cod. Alright. That's actually just a little trout cod. He bit that hard, he almost pulled my rod in the drink. There you go, folks. Lovely little trout cod. All of about 20 centimetres long. Wouldn't even be that. Ah! I whipped my hands and done the right thing and then dropped him on the ground anyway. 
Mate, thank you for coming to visit. What a pretty fish. Young fish always look nicer than old fish, I reckon. There he goes. Ha. I looked up, and what, this is no jokes. My rod was leaning on this stick. I was going like that, and I thought it's a monster. I raced over, set the hook, turned my GoPro on, and uh, caught a little, little tiny fish. Well, three fish, three, <laughs> including the turtle. I've caught four different species this morning. <laughs> It's currently 8 a.m. and my car's booked in for a service at 9 a.m. I was almost going to roll over and go back to sleep this morning, but I'm glad I didn't.